Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and it's finally time for us to storm Ashina Castle and rescue Lord Kuro here in Sekiro. Although, chances are, we're probably getting a little too ahead of ourselves. Once we confront the big, bad, mean old boss at the top of the tower, the state of the world is going to change as we know it. And now that this castle area in general is available to us, a lot of optional things have opened up for us to do. So I think we should certainly focus on that before bum rushing the front door and bask in some good old fashioned lore. And well, listen out for that, because Lord Kiro awaits. Keep in mind, if you do <laughs> try to head in through the front, it's not going to be easy. I'm sure the four gentlemen you delivered that rousing speech to definitely appreciate getting yelled at, but they are all marksmen, and that guy is not very fun to fight. Keep in mind, the front door is locked, so even if you did try to run up and be a wise guy, probably wouldn't be the best idea. Yeah, so we'll, we'll definitely come back to that later, and instead we're going to bask in the incredible technical prowess of Sekiro's door opening abilities. Many of them will be opened, some will not, but it's impressive as hell. Look at that. Oh my god. The world's most premier door opener has entered the chat. <laughs> Got a couple of items here, and I think this little corner is pretty useless right now. Later on, I feel like there is a bridge that leads up to this area that you can grapple to, but it's just a little pointless now. Just good for us to get the door open and available. Plus, I guess if you decided to go skinny dipping into the disgusting sewage water of the moat, you could go and climb your way back out here, but I don't know, man. I would not recommend doing that. At least until you can dive and really get it stuck in your lungs. Yeah, so we're gonna come over here and open another door. Look at us go, holy hell. Just look at that. Straight back arched legs it's impeccable but welcome to a familiar place we've got an idol here and this is Ashina Reservoir where we began the game we'll be coming back here in just a moment because well the other door that Sekiro wants to open it's locked so we got to go find that key and just fortunately for us it is not too far away from where we are now We'll head over here with our incredible acrobatic abilities once again. And I think, yeah, a coin purse. And this is, I believe, the other side of the door where we fought the Blazing Bull, maybe? They lock off that area for some reason, and I think it's because they want to mourn the loss of their new pet. But that door is no longer accessible, so just keep that in mind if you plan on doing any backtracking, because we've got some eavesdropping to do. この日、ほろ Alright, well that's a pretty heavy-handed hint as to what we're going to expect here with some of the enemies and their ill-fitting armor. For now, I am going to get this gentleman nice and out of the way. And we fight to the death. 
Oh, and you have the gatehouse key, which is exactly what I was looking for. There's a samurai gatehouse near the well where the wolf was kept in, and it has Gyobu's broken horn. It's said that no prey can escape it because it is the spear blade once wielded by the demon. It pulls enemies in and is capable of stripping their armor, which is going to be very helpful for us, so definitely want to make sure we grab that as soon as possible because that is among one of the more helpful tools you'll find yourself using. Over here, though. Oh, yeah. So we have a Taro soldier who is uh, meandering with his doggos, which I don't blame him for, even though he should be patrolling and doing a watchful eye on the world. But what I want to do is use this third dog as a distraction, and I feel so bad for doing this. But once you go over there, we'll do this and hope we can sneak up on him because <laughs> this is going to be a not very fun fight if we do it fair. There we go. Ooh, scrap magnetite. Nice. Wanted that. I'm so sorry. It was such an unceremonious end. I don't know what to say. Go and grab some black gunpowder. Step in here. Grab more items by destroying the hell out of things. It's like, don't try to trip and fall over everything. Some of those are invulnerable. And we've got ourselves yet another idol. But this one is a little more important because this is going to take us to a new merchant. Gokuyo. So at this point, he'll say the same thing for all of the memorial mobs, but this one has some pretty nice items. If you have been having a few issues in keeping your money on you, coin purses are going to be your best friend here. You can purchase possession balloons here, which I would almost recommend doing, considering how rare they are. But the real thing that you're going to want is the prayer bead for 1400 If you have the cash... You can also buy this second mask fragment, but at this point, this would be the easiest one to get because we haven't been able to pick up many treasure carp scales, and you will still need a third fragment to make it whole. Wouldn't really recommend it at the moment, so let's go and sell up some of our coin purses. I think it just need four, and I will take that. Please and thank you. Alright, thank you. I will be sure to keep that ominous message in mind. This is going to take us to the abandoned dungeon. And let me tell you right now, we don't want anything to do with this right now. You damn assholes. Yeah, it's a little scary, and I'd rather wait before <laughs> confronting that just a little bit. You'll also need to dive before you can make most use of it, but yeah. Not very much looking forward to that. So if you want, I think I'll probably just use this as an opportunity to also explore down here real quick. Because as you know, this is the Bridge of Rumors. You remember in the first episode when we overheard those other soldiers? I think they were the same guys here. But we won't be able to get back to this spot, so uh, we'll have to go back to that door we opened. However, I think we have some visitors. Let me see. I feel like, ah, there he is. Just going to sneak on down. Or not. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt your time there. Eesh. And hope this guy doesn't notice me. Doing terribly at sneaking up on enemies. More heavy coin purses. A level up, which is nice. And unfortunately, as it stands, this door is locked and this idol is uh, not active. So we'll definitely have to work on that. And here, we'll do this too, why not? <laughs> there we go. Balloon of Spirit, nice. I wonder why it's gray. Isn't it usually pink? Huh, oh no, it's Spirit, not, oh right, Spirit. Yeah, you rarely see those. I was thinking it was the soul one, but Spirit Emblems get increased for a little bit of time after popping that, so. In case you're <laughs> running real low, feel free to go ahead and uh, activate that. And with our grappling hook, it makes this area completely trivial. 
So, yeah, there are a couple of mini bosses over here. And I'm going to come back later, even though we do have the key, just because the spear isn't important right now. So we'll go back this way, not use our idol, and I guess... Where do I want to go? I guess we'll probably try to make our way inside of the castle because there is a lot of shenanigans that happen up there. So let me see, can we do this? I want to try to go through at a higher vantage point because the number of enemies that patrol this place is obscene. Starting with the Nightjar. Oh God, these guys are the bane of my existence, especially when they gang up on you. Well, fortunately for us, I think... Oh, he found me. Uh, we might be able to take him out with the Ichimanji. That is, if we play our cards right. Come on. There's one move I'm looking for. Oh, and he throws his little things at us, so... Nope, that's not it either. Okay. Well, here. We will fight to the death-ish. There, uh... Oh, my God. Yeah, he, it'll just go ahead and hit you pretty easily there. Oh, thank you. One-on-one, -on -one, those guys aren't bad. The problem is, is they usually gangbang you. That's where in the terror of their prowers lie. Also, we've got you. And a lot of guys here. This is bad. Ooh, he dropped sugar. I like that. I'm going to go back up here. I'm just going to try to get as many guys stealthily as I can. <laughs> like I said, in these games, <laughs> the real difficulty comes from getting ganged up on. And, oh, there's a freaking marksman there, too. I want you. Get, oh, my God, and the big jump. Why not? <laughs> okay, well, you can come and be amazed. And, oh, my God, this guy... <laughs> He's a little too excited to see me, I think. Oh, and the dog. Alright. There we go. Back up. Back up we go. Or around the corner. Yeah, so I'm only going to clear these guys out once. Um, just to show <laughs> the sheer number of enemies they feed you here. But it's not bad for experience. If you want to wait on using the wealth balloon, you're more than welcome to. It wouldn't be the worst idea. No. Did you not investigate? Here we go. Let's do this again. We're going to summon the horde, I think. Oh, this guy. Oh, blissfully unaware. Oh, hello. This guy, too. Here, let me just do that. There we go. Are you charging me with the spear, man? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. One more time. Show me that sweet... Makiri. Nice. That other guy not care? Nah. He's like, I don't get paid enough for this shit. Honestly, I didn't even want to go to war. Oh, shit. Uh, it's you? Again? Another spear. Another man to be Makiri'd. What are you thinking? You gonna get caught on the wall? No, he's got no idea what to do there. So that's not what I wanted. Damn it. <laughs> Sometimes when... I, I'm playing with the Series X controller, and it's probably not the best idea, but sometimes when I try to Makiri, I end up sidestepping instead, which is really annoying. I think that's everybody here. Except for one lone dissenter. This man is going to be your best friend. No, no. This is not a samurai. Shinobi. What gave me away? Oh. <laughs> he gives us the Night Jar Beacon Memo. Pale pink smoke signals are placed along the rooftops of Ashina Castle. These signals guide the night jar. The ashen feathered flock are surely the only ones able to follow such a trail. Well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so 
So in case you're having trouble finding some really obscure prosthetic tool or something, this man will usually be able to sell you these memos that can give you some hints on things and a little bit of lore. Oh, Ah, I see. You're one of them, I take it. Well, not the worst thing in the world. Um, I don't blame him. It is a time of war, after all. I would be probably scared shitless too and would want nothing to do with these people. But as for continuing on forward, I'm a little nervous because there are a few more night jars who are just kind of hiding around the corners of some of these buildings, namely in the rooftops. And if you know where they are, you might be able to sneak up on them, but otherwise they are incredibly cheap and unfair and they like to gang up on you. That's the main thing. Let's see, is it this one? Yes, it is. Oh my God. He was waiting to no avail. <laughs> Yeah, for an upcoming section, we're definitely not going to fight everyone, mostly because we're probably going to die. Sheesh. I saw an item, actually, out of the corner of my eye. I just can't remember if I picked it up just now or not. It's a little too on the lookout for any friends who might jump out at me. I must have grabbed it. Down there is like a little pit for some reason. I don't think anything ever comes of it, so I won't worry about it. But... Our third and final friend is going to be over here. And if I'm not mistaken, we'll grab that in a minute too. I, he should be able to be snuck up on over here. We just have to watch out because one of them has friends. And by friends, I mean more than one. <laughs> oh shit, there he is. What are you doing up there? He must have seen me or something. Or at least had some exploit. Yeah, you see, two of them over there. Well, three. Yeah. Well, four, God. No, come on, thank you. Now, if I can get one of them to come over here. <laughs> oh no, he's just gonna play the distance game. And now your friend is interested. Oh boy, he can make it over here, I know he can. Also, even though these night jars can jump around and stuff, using your shuriken on them while they're in mid-air doesn't do that much damage. It's one of the few exceptions where you're like, oh, the shuriken should fuck them up if they're jumping around like little jelly beans. But no, not exactly the case. Here, can I do, can I, can I give you, I can't even lock onto you. That's not fair. Yeah, here we go. We might just need to whittle them down just before his friend gets here. <laughs> we did get the spirit balloon after all. There, I'm not below just spamming shurikens. Perfect. Yeah, and we'll fight this one legitimately. Oop, oop. Here we go. What are you thinking? You wanna come over here and not activate your friend? Yeah, that move right there is very good to defend against. There we go, you see that? Oh, that posture buildup is beautiful. Level three. I do want to be very careful, but in case you were interested, um, you can get a death blow on that mini boss down there from here, but I would be very careful with how you approach. That's right. Oh my God, you get the Ichimanji and do not give him a chance to, oh my God. Flame on, because he will do it, and it's going to hurt. Holy hell. That guy is scary. Yeah, if he manages to light up his swords, uh, he's going to burn you in a single combo, so be careful about that. Shit, this next area too. This is probably where I would just run through and ignore literally everything. But I'm going to try something new for once. We're gonna go and throw on some gachins and hope we might be able to get at least one or two of these fine gentlemen here. Because I know we have not made ourselves known just yet. And they're waiting. They're waiting in the wings. Oh, there we go. So this guy over here. I just do this. On the ledge. Can I do this? Since I don't get to do it often. <laughs> Perfect. 
There's another one across the way over there. It's weird seeing them all in their natural positions. Hello. And there's another... <laughs> yeah, these guys will all gang up on you, and it's not fair. It is so terrible. Ooh. There we go. This feels good. I like this. This pleases me to no end. Oh, I want to be able to grab that. All right, we're fighting. There we go. It's not very fun now, is it? The power of Gatchin <laughs> knows no bounds. Holy shit. The first time I play this, man, it's it's rough getting up here and having to take all of them on at once. Maybe once I inevitably restore things uh, to their rightful place, I'll show off just how hectic it can get. We are still not out of the woods, though. And there might be more items down here. I, I don't normally explore this place out of an abundance of caution. Oh, there's a lizard down there. What? That's kind of funny. Okay. Well, don't uh, get too greedy here. There's an item, but there's also another kite. And you can see, you can see exactly who's waiting there. It's so funny. And just how they dive bomb in, which, speaking of, this is um, something I want to be careful for. Let's grab this shard. There's another enemy right there. But spawning him does not spawn... Hello. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. You're the... You still just... God, man. Are you good? I thought you suicided here. Oh, that's bad. There we go. Come on. Not today. That is terrifying. I didn't realize it was that guy. I thought he's him. He just runs in and then kamikazes into you, but no. Holy shit. Okay. Well. Whatever you do, try not to take these guys on alone. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I'm done. We're going to head in here and we're going to get some goods. Starting with the Fistful of Ash and a treasure. Are you a prayer bead? No, it's a gourd seed. <gasps> Maybe I should go and take that back. We have a couple of things we should do first. I'm going to rest up. As far as my abilities are concerned... I think I am gonna wait until I can get the Breath of Light. So, um, just get a little bit of health every time I death blow and call it good there. We're in the antechamber, and this place might be marginally problematic for us if we're not careful. Just go gentle. Because we have Ishin's pupils. These guys are fairly tough, but luckily for us, they do have a tendency to drop confetti. Yes, it's so good. Now, gentle. We have another one over there. They're pretty tough warriors, so I would be careful. We have maids of the estate as well, and they're going to make noise if they catch wind of what's happening here. Any shenanigans afoot? So we'll take care of her first in the most violent manner. <laughs> and we didn't see it, but a third guy, he comes over here. So I'm gonna take you. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, level four. Yeah, so this is gonna be an area you're probably going to want to train up in with possession balloons and hope that you get as many divine confettis as you can. You know, he's like, what the hell? Is Merelda the maid sleeping on the job again in another pool of her own blood? This is ridiculous. I got to talk to the manager about this. <laughs> oh, but he doesn't care. It's like, eh, it's not the first time that's happened this week. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. We will get into a fight with them here shortly, but just know that they are ruthless and they're probably going to mess you up. So over here, I feel like we have a training pupil. There's one that seems a little younger, and he hits a lot faster and harder. So whenever you can, try to take out these ones as opposed to the others. Oh, nice big Wow. They also like to thrust, which is 
not very good. There we go. Delayed. And Nakiri. Ooh, okay. Thank you. Appreciate that. Get some scrap iron and Ego Sugar. So this is a fairly unique area. I don't know how you would necessarily know how to do this, but um, go and desecrate this shrine belonging to a great warrior and hug the wall. I'm sure there's a memo out there that tells you how have to do that. I've never found it. Doesn't matter though, because inside we get the prayer bead. It's only our second one, but no worries. I think that's everything. Seems like this is kind of a cool little room. It's like cozy. I would probably spend a lot of time in here if I had, you know, my office set up in there or something, but who knows. Uh, that is it for here. And this is right outside where those many fucking night jars just decided to hang out. It's not fun. Yeah. So, actually, you know what? Let's go uh, spelunking through the roof for a moment. Or at least through the ceiling. The roof of the room. We'll say that much. Got some sugar. And... This is going to be a bit of an unfortunate fight, I think. But that's okay. If we head over here, there's that hyped up super pupil over there chatting it up with one of the lifers. You can't exactly get him from here, but there's also a poor woman. <laughs> That's not good. So I guess we'll try to get this one. And before we get hit, he's mad. He is so mad. Open the door. Oh shit, your friends noticed. Ugh. Nope, leave me alone. This is actually something I don't appreciate. Is the two other guys coming over to investigate. Listen, I get it, but can I at least just take this one on, on my own? What are you thinking? Yeah, he's scary. <laughs> I don't like fighting him. Ooh, and, oh, yeah, that one's delayed. Oh, shit. Thank you. Oh, shit, don't fall. Oh, jeez, that would have been terrible. Am I locked into doing this now? Did I goof? I might have goofed. <laughs> I, I don't think I can get back up there from here. At least I don't think I can. Damn it. Okay. Well, this is what's going to happen. <laughs> We're doing everything down here now, apparently. Not exactly going as planned. That's okay. Let's get the Ichimanji. Oh, shit. Leave ourselves nice and vulnerable. Not to worry. What are you thinking? Oh, you're going to kick me? Not here. Not today. Oh my god. Can I do this? Can I do something different here? Oh! Ooh, do you see that? Posture bar at 95%. That's obscene. Okay. Eel liver. A miraculous drug capable of banishing lightning. Offered at the Ashina clan altar. Greatly reduces the amount of damage from lightning attacks, as well as the shock status. Even a god's force can be suppressed, though probably not for long. Yeah. Oh, and more treasure. Would you look at that? Ladies and gentlemen, we have obtained Sabimaru, an ancient Kodashi short sword. Its blade modeled with bluish rust. Forged by the Ashina clan to resist the inhuman evil that had invaded Ashina in times long forgotten, it was the poisonous gift of the blue rust that finally drove the spirits out. Yeah. If I'm being completely honest here, that is probably one of my lesser used tools, but still could be helpful for a few bosses here and there, what with its capabilities of poison. Now for another door to be opened. Surprise, surprise! And this is going to take us essentially to the outer rim of the castle, aka the backside. That up there is uh, where we ended up getting kamikaze so in case you jumped down into the water, you would have been locked out of this door. So now that we have that opened, uh, I guess we might as well open one more door. Um, I'm doing okay on health right now, but let's open the front door, shall we? This is where it gets fun. <laughs> Right? No. 
no it's not. Ah, oh, this is terrible. So if you're fast enough, <laughs> nobody pays any mind to the doorman opening up a perfect back shot. Ooh, the lower one's vitality, the slower their posture recovers. So any chip damage you can do is going to help. Especially here where we are just going to run the fuck the way inside. And as much as I hate fighting on these steps, it's better than getting shot at out there. <laughs> Come on back down, sir. Claim your prize. Even if I throw this at you, I don't even have my flame vent equipped right now. Here we go. Ooh. So a lot of big, heavy hits, and your posture oh, is going to be hurting, man. I did not want to fight this guy right now. Jesus. He's constantly going to be trying to go back out the door, which makes him a bit more defensive than he usually is, but... If you can get a good little, uh, oh boy, a sweep out of him, that's a good way to build his posture. Get a couple of extra hits in. Oh, come on, really? One of the more annoying things about the fireworks, holy shit, is that he will immediately kill us. All right, my man, listen. I can't have that in my dojo. Get out of here. Oh my god, in the Ichimanji. Sir. Oh, this is... Terrible. So long as we do perfect reflections, he can't break our posture. But everything else can, like that <laughs> terrible excuse of timing. Yeah, if I just randomly stop talking, I apologize. God damn it. Yep, right there. Too early. Ooh. Oh, I really miss my deflect right about now in midair. I just like instinctually went for it. He's actually pretty low on health, though. Let's go, Mr. Cruz. No more hurts. Oh, and the grab. Do not let that happen. Oh, don't let him recover his posture. And just before you know it... Oh, the thrust. Thank you. For once. Let's finish him off. Ooh. Oh, that guy, oh my god, he's tough, man, he is not a fun character. Now, luckily for us, we could probably just go and take these little schmucks out, too, as well we're here. There we go. Oh, shit, this guy already saw me. Thank you. Um, ooh. Oh, no, don't get cut on the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry. It must be done. And with that, we are at five skill points. So here we come. Passive income in health and divine grass. Perfect. I was hoping for something a little more spectacular, but that'll do. As for this, let's go to our last communed idol and hopefully not spawn everyone we spent so much time killing. Using our homeward idol, I think, and I hope that, oh no, of course they would, oh, they would come back. That's so weird. I could have sworn, man. We even got all of our stuff back, so that's fine. We opened the door, at least, which is the important part. So I, now we don't have to really worry too much about other things. We just have to run through that room and hope we can uh, take the fight away from everyone else. Or we can just alert everybody here. Why not? All right, man. Let me go and do that again. And yeah, let's just do this. Oh, you saw me fast. Oh yeah, and the other two again. Why would they do this? Yep, it's not gonna be a fair fight. Listen, man. Me and you, one on one. Can they see through me? Like that window? Oh. Not today, not today. Oh, you got some like weird delays, man. Oh. There we go. I don't think they care much about <laughs> anything happening around here. Oh no, he does. I do this. <laughs> please, 
Please just let me give him the yoink. Oh my god. The double! <laughs> oh, hello. Why? <laughs> he was uh, trying to crack his neck there, I think. Okay, well, can we actually <laughs> make a... Just, there we go, a beeline for this room. We have more sugar here, and yet another idol. Yeah, here we go. So before we end things off, I guess it would probably behoove us to go ahead and at least grab ourselves the breath of life. Anytime we get a death blow, we recover a little bit of health. I have been missing that, and I want it again. It's not going to help for what's coming up here, but I suppose we should probably just go and take a look at this right now. We got the healing gourds at the ready, because this guy is an asshole. And I hate him. What you want to do for this fight is definitely throw on Gokan's Sugar, which they just gave us one. Reduces posture damage taken. And one of the things that I had to look up for this game early on was how to fight this guy. And as it turns out, this game, while it normally discourages you from spamming, you, you, <laughs> you have to spam here your deflect. It's bad form, but he goes down pretty easily if we do that. Just wait for the glint. And his posture bar is <laughs> absolutely donezo. He does build up yours pretty bad too, so. And he's got other moves. Just watch out for the sweep. And there it is. That's all there is to it. <laughs> but with that, yet another prayer bead is in our possession. And scrap magnetite. At this point, you could use that idol to start fighting against the boss because now that we're on the upper level, it's the reed whistle. And definitely not the kamikaze guy, right? Uh, yeah. I think there's a few items around here that we can grab. Just be careful not to find yourself. Ah, I'm not doing this. I'm in trouble. I mean, we could try, but <laughs> this is bad. Yeah, I, I did not mean to do this right here. I am so sorry. Okay. Um, <laughs> Genichiro <laughs> is so aggroed onto us. We're going to wait until a little later, and I think if I just quit and come back, it'll just put me right outside of the fight. But thank you so much for watching. There is still more I want to do before fighting him, which I did practice for, so hopefully it's not going to be too painful and I will see you here next time. Take care and I'll see you then.